Our next guest is part of the Berkshire family. Let's welcome Brooks Running CEO Jim Weber. His new book is called Running with a Purpose, How Brooks Outpaced Goliath Competitors to Lead the Pack. Um, Jim, thank you so much for being here today. It's great um, to be back in Omaha. Thanks, Becky. I want to talk about your book in just a moment because yeah. it's an incredible, inspiring story. I love it. But let's first start off with the supply chain issues. Yeah. You, you have been, uh, like every other company, zigging and zagging to try and deal with supply chain issues. You moved mm -hmm. your supply chain to, to Vietnam mm -hmm. from China to make sure that you didn't get caught in a lot of things. But everywhere around the globe has been stuck with things. Where, where do things stand right now? You know, Becky, it's been <clears throat> two-pronged for us because there's the first is is sort of single points of, of, of risk if you have a factory that was quarantined in southern Vietnam. So that area was quarantined for over three months completely. So we lost 45 percent of our footwear production over a three-month period. That's a discrete problem for us. You can't make that up. It probably will cost us over $300 million in revenue last year in Q4 and this Q1. So that's come through now, but we've recovered. That's the good news. Then there's the overall supply chain that almost affects everyone that's moving goods around the world. We've been impacted by that, too. So generally speaking, costs are way up, especially in air freight. And our lead times went from 45 to 90 days. And that sustained itself. We're seeing some improvement. And then, of course, we're optimizing around that small boats and smaller ports and all of that. So like everyone, we're reacting to it. But I believe, hopefully, that's a bubble because there was a rush in demand for so many goods. Mm -hmm. and, and we think that's going to normalize out over the next year. And with that, we think the supply chain on logistics side will as well. The consumer demand has been so strong to yeah. this point. Have you been able to raise costs to deal with the higher costs that you're dealing with? Yeah, we don't have unlimited pricing power, but we have taken selective price increases where we think we can. Um, and, but our whole industry is so competitive. It's a big marketplace. But we've done that where we can, um, but, but we don't have unlimited pricing power. So we d I do believe in supply chain that costs are going to mediate a bit. What, what, what are you seeing with consumer demand? You, you think that demand is going to come down. Are you seeing it already or are yeah. people still running like they were during the pandemic? So for us, we follow participation. People are running and they're outside and they're walking and it's sticky. So a lot of people that started in the pandemic, we think they're going to stick with it, especially on the frequent runner side. So we're definitely seeing that. But it's moderated. We're not seeing the growth that we saw in participation early on. On the retail side, since a lot of footwear and apparel um, doesn't go out for a run always, we're actually seeing some a little bit of softness in Q1. Uh, it's flattened out a little bit. Um, some in the industry think that's somewhat due to the stimulus um, in, in consumers' hands. It's not there this year. I think that has less impact on our customer. Um, when they need running gear, they're going to buy good running gear.